Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. It's a little baby palette, but it's full of amazing goodness. And so this is a lot of our ready-to-made um, Amish goods. And so we have a plethora of different kind of flavors that are in here, and so we're going to unbox them. When we order this, they do not make it until we order it. And so it's all fresh when it gets sent to us. And so let's find out what we got. All right, we're going to go ahead and unbox this little tiny palette and see how much goodness comes in small packages. These are amazing. This is a uh, Amish community that's right here in our own state, the state of Illinois, where we're from. So they're really good at getting our product to us. It does take them a while. Yeah, about but a month turnaround from the order date to actually uh, arriving at the front yeah. door. Sometimes, sometimes shorter, it depends. Like this got here a little quicker because it was only... It was a little bit of a shorter amount yeah. um, than we normally buy, but it still sells pretty good. All the Amish made jams and jellies all right, and all sorts of stuff. This box to begin with, we'll see what's in here. Has a B on it. B. Aggressive. Oh yeah. Oh, these smell amazing. Now, is that the one that's all the damp? The this the is, I think it's all the butters. Blackberry butter, cherry butter, apple butter. Most people prefer to apple butter. Peach butter, blueberry butter, and strawberry butter. It's a... Uh, it's like a sampler set. It, it definitely is a sampler set. It's not the jams. Uh, there, there's a different consistency to so it. this is a little bit of a lighter flavor. Less, mm -hmm. uh, less sugary, more of a... Um, but they're very flavorful. Yep, you can put it on toast like butter. Yes. That's how I would describe it. But anyway, well, we're good on rolls. Very toast. good. Um, I've even made sandwiches out of them. Just pour it straight in your mouth and you could do that. enjoy Just life. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. And start shoveling. We okay, got now more. this one says the same low dose, so I'm just going to open it and yeah. see if it's the same thing. It's a good idea. Might be their code to be yeah. there. But we usually open every box anyway yep. when we shelve everything. Almost have to. Same thing? Yeah. Same thing, yes ma'am. Okay, great. Great. Alright, then we have this one. Different shape box. Even though I guess it's honey. What do we got? Oh, honey. Honey, honey. Miller's Honey. Miller's County Lane. Ava, Illinois. Good old honey. I like the bear. I know, I do too. It is not a glass bear. Yes, so that's Pla nice. Plastic bear. But still really great. Good honey. They say if you buy locally your honey, it helps with um, allergens and stuff. And these are, you know, right in our own state. But honey is just good in general. Okay, now these look the same, but look closely. Oh, it's the mixture. Yep. So these are a nice mixture. This has the apple butter, the strawberry butter, the peach butter, dill mustard, horseradish mustard, and honey mustard. So if your husband likes the more mustardy, saltier flavored things, and then you like the sugary stuff, then there you go. Best of both worlds for both Absolutely. of Absolutely. Good deal. Whatever it is. Ooh. Oh. This is Amish black licorice twists. Man, that smells good. It does smell good. I'm not even a black licorice twist. No, fan. I'm not really a fan either, but I it smells really good. That's nice. Sixteen ounces. Homemade licorice. Amish made licorice, however they make it. Don't know. They're making it. And it's good. Yummy. Taste that. Alright. What? What did we get? It's brittle. Oh, man. We've Peanut never had brittle. this before. Peanut brittle. Oh, there's something Aren't else buttery. in the box. Oh, my These goodness. These are peanut butter milk chocolate covered malt balls. All of these kind of candies we've had before are really good. So good. Try another one, different kind. 
Milk chocolate armor. Chocolate covered almonds. almonds. Yeah. A lot of thick chocolate on there. Yes. I the peanut butter we've never had before, so that ought to go good, I and bet. Here, here we've got pecans. Oh, pecans, yeah. We got almonds, pecans. I'm just trying to see if there's another kind. I think that might be it. Nice. In this box. Ooh, nope. There's another one at the bottom. Cashews. And there might be more kinds. I think we've gotten peanuts before, we've gotten raisins before, things like mm -hmm. that. So just check the snacks and candy category. They're all mixed in here. This is all Amish made. Okay. Can you imagine just getting a mystery box full of that? That'd be amazing. We could. We could make that mystery boxes amazing. full of Amish candies. There's another one of these sets. Which one is it? It's the mustard butter mustard one. Mustard butter. Mm -hmm. okay. I think we're cracking their code on that one yep. there. The box there. Right. Bunch more boxes Let's down there. Green. Green apple. You know what that smells like. Green apple. Green apples. How do they? Granny Smith green. How do they do that? How do people do that? Good. Good stuff. All right. This one says. Half B, a half M. So I'm guessing butter mustard. Uh, let's just hope it's not a BM. <laughs> wow. He went there, guys. I went there. Yep. He I went there. It. Yep. He said it, guys. A little old school, but we went there. That says B on it. Oh, does it? Where? It does, on the side. Oh. Well, I'm going to open it anyway. Mm-hmm. Save the work. Butters. Butters. Which one's your favorite? We've got blackberry, mm. cherry, apple butter, peach butter, blueberry butter butter and strawberry butter. See, I would either do the blackberry or the strawberry. Those would be the two I'd do. Now, for. apple butter's your mom's favorite. Yep. What would you go for? Um, ooh, blueberry butter. Blueberry? Sure. And then a, you gotta go with the classic strawberry. Strawberry butter. Yep. Mm -hmm. I actually have had the strawberry butter. Amazing. Yep. We did a taste test with when we had with all our, our whole crew here one day when we did this. I remember Adam was here. And he had gotten off a of football practice, I think, and literally he just buttered it and shoved the whole thing in his yeah. mouth. He was so hungry. He was. He's going to play college football. He is. So if you see... Uh, we should film that one day. Yeah, we should. Take a trip. All right, we've got saltwater taffy. Oh, here we go. Saltwater taffy. In bags. wonder how many calories per piece. Uh, seven pieces equals a serving size for 120 calories. That's actually better than I thought. Yeah, that is better. You can eat this whole bag and eat it in church. You won't gain any weight. It'll be wonderful. Oh, boy. Yep. I see. Is that how it works? Give one to your pastor and you'll lose weight. Oh. It's in Leviticus somewhere. I'm sure of it. The boxes are getting smashed. There we go. Just wanted to come on tape while I picked it up. Out of your way here. Let's see what we got. We got. We got apricot jam. Or apricot. Or apricot. No. Or apricot. Monkey jam. <laughs> or apricot jam. Or is that all it is? I think it might be all that. Many ounces I think in this it's guy. all the same. Could 12, be all the same. 16 ounce? 18. 18. 18 ounce. Refrigerate after opening. So it's fine on the shelf until you open it. Call it probably because it's been sealed here. All these have fantastic shelf lives too. See? February 27th of 2025. Whoa. So you're out a year. That's awesome. Well, I would yep. imagine the Amish know how to can really well. I'd imagine they know how to can a, can a good. Hey. Oh, yeah. Ooh, seedless blackberry jam. That's even better. The Amish buggy. I like it. Ingredients. First ingredient, sugar. 
Blackberry lemon juice and pectin. No one knows what pectin is, but it Actually, tastes wonderful. Pectin is what makes it that jelly consistency. I don't think so. I know because I've canned strawberry jam. You know, I am a woman of many talents. Yeah, you are. And random facts of knowledge. It's true. It's very true. Oh, no sugar added peach jam. I think that's what this whole box is. Like that. Contains grape juice. Yeah. Don't know why, but it does. Peach jam. No sugar added peach jam. Let's see this giant box. Oh, man. Strawberry. Your typical look for your licorice. Strawberry red twists. So good. I've eaten these. They're amazing. Yep. Super yummy. Because I decided one night not to eat dinner. And she ate a bag of a whole bag. licorice. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that um, you should get health advice from us. No. We're just saying. Do not take any nutritional advice from us at all. Not at all. Not at all. We don't claim anything. Watermelon twists. Even better. Mm. Ooh, you can smell that watermelon. You can, can't you? Yeah. I bet they can, too. Oh, you probably can. We got blackberry jam. Ingredient sugar. <laughs> sugar. Blackberries. Nine ounce. Boy, it looks nice. Good design. Whole deal. What? Apple cinnamon jelly. That looks weird. I like the look of it. Look at it. It's like Christmassy looking, isn't it? It's like a clear red. <gasps> like Valentine's Day looking. Like anniversary. It's really pretty. That is really cool looking. I love that. That's a new one. We have never no, had never had this before. before. I want to try that. It looks good. Yeah. Dutch apple. Good old Dutch apples. <laughs> like made from sugar apples. A little cinnamon in there though too. Ooh, yum. Like it, Heather. This is all we have left, these boxes. Is That's it? it? Yeah. Who's hungry now though? Oh my goodness. Remember, where do you go to find this stuff? Hotonpicking.com in the snacks and candy category. Absolutely. We got some other candies in there too, we do. but these will be at the very top. Yep. Look great. Peace jam. You can also um, just type in Amish, and you should be able to find you should all be able of the to. things that but we go have. To, go to the candy and You're, snacks. That way you don't miss something. Yep. That's the easiest. Regular apple butter. All natural apple butter. Mm -hmm. This has to be healthy. Oh, look at that. Ingredient. First ingredient is apples. What? Sugar, then spices. Nice. So this is healthy for you. It is. We'll call it health food. Absolutely it is. 100%. No sugar added seedless blackberry jam. So, so what one, are they putting in besides say? Eh? One thing sugar. one thing that's really um awesome well they're just using the natural fruit sugars. That's one thing that's awesome about these seedless ones is there's a lot of people that they can't do the small seed type fruits like mm -hmm. they can't eat strawberries, they can't eat. If you have diverticulitis, you can't yeah. really do that real well. Anybody with that kind of lower issue mm -hmm. sometimes has it. This so, should work with yeah, seedless. Yeah. I know a couple of people I should just save a jar and give that to. This also has bean gum in it. I didn't know beans were made of gum. Maybe the beans chew the gum. That makes more sense mm -hmm. when you think about it. It's probably like the pectin is what it is, probably. But for a, no, a low sugar. Option. Bean gum. 
I don't know. That's a, that's the thing I have learned today that yes. there is such okay, a thing. Listen, what is bean gum? Leave in the comment section below. Did I guess right? I'm just guessing because it sounds like something that would solidify your jellies better. And so. and you're saying it's produced by beans chewing gum? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Right. Now here's the question: Is it a green bean chewing gum? Is it a pinto bean chewing gum? Or is it more like a pork and bean chewing gum? Or a, a kidney bean? A pork and bean? A, por a pork and bean. Like a can of pork and beans chewing gum. Can of pork and beans chewing gum. Yes. Just put that visual in your brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, what are we talking about? I am so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I do have some strawberry jam, though. Yep. It looks amazing. Hot pepper jam. What? Hot pepper. Let's you see. Should what bring kind that of... to Shannon's husband. I should. He would totally eat that. What does it have? It has sugar, green peppers, red peppers, vinegar, and pectin. Hot pepper. I wonder how hot it is. Hmm. Somebody buy it, eat it, and tell us. Oh, you can see the hotness. I have no idea what hotness looks like. And last but not least, Paul's favorite. Grape jelly. He loves traditional grape Very jelly. Very traditional. Grape jelly. Good old jellies. I bet that tastes better than the normal grape jelly. Oh my goodness. All of it tastes all good. All of it tastes amazing. All right, you can go to hookedonpicking.com. Go to the snacks and candy category. You'll be able to find all of these Amish yummy goodnesses. And um, if you don't see your item there, maybe that it's already sold out. And we will do our best to make a reorder as soon as possible. Thanks so much for joining us. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.